Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Base Gaming, and today we are going to talk about the Veo patch, Veo patch, Vertex aimed occlusion patches, and how to make them for a set of Corsa. It is basically an aimed occlusion patch. Aimed occlusion is all of the context shadows you can see in video games, like where the sun or the light should not be reaching as much, for example, in corners and stuff. And um, currently it is turned off, so as you can see, the light in here is the same as the light in here. Ignore the green and yellow lighting and stuff that's just from CSP, but I'm talking about the sun and the shadows you would receive. And of course you would have more light here than here, since the light is hitting here, bouncing around, and of course you would have less light in the back or in the corners. And once we apply the vert uh, vertex aimed occlusion patch, the veil patch, it looks like this. So this is with, and this is without. And as you can see, it applies to many, many things. For example, this 3D trees, these trees which I've planted through CSP, through the tree planter. As you can see, we do have the shadows below from the uh, trees, the life calculated ones, since the sun is over there. But what we do not have is like a general shadow under the trees. And once we turn it on, as we can see, we do have it. I, it's on, and now I'm going to turn it off. And you can see the slight but definitely noticeable difference. Another example is right here, on and off. And if you just look at the texture, because it's just another layer applied on top, it's this one. So obviously, wherever you have grass, you will get like this slight shadow. The black stuff, the gray stuff is what is applied uh, with um, opacity, with slight opacity on top of everything. So as you can see, you have darker shadows in here, you have darker shadows at the corners. Not here, because the light is reaching through the back. You have darker shadows like in between these things here and um, below the trees and uh, behind these houses here. So if you look like here, these houses, especially on the bottom, would receive way less light than at the top of these houses in front. So as you can see, this is without it and this is with a patch. With and without. And I'm going to teach you how to do that because it's very simple. So, shoutout goes to this tutorial by Gunner333, who has made a lot of tutorials in the past, 2019. Uh, it's this one, and you can use Custom Tracks Bakery, which is the old CPU-based one. You can find the download um, down below. Um, it, you shouldn't use this one, if possible, because this is old and also does not support the 3D trees from the tree planter. The um, current one is the Optics Bakery, which is uh, which only works on NVIDIA GPUs, which is a little bit sad. So if you do not have an NVIDIA GPU, you should rather ask someone to make you the um, Veo patch instead of using Custom tra Tracks Bakery, just because Opt Optics Bakery has more options. Uh, you can follow this tutorial, which will be in the description below, or you can do it yourself. So we are going to use the Optics Bakery, which you can find here. It's also made by Ilya, who made Content Manager and um, the CSP. You go to Releases, and you download the newest version. And then what you want to do is go into your Track folder and open up the Optics zip file you just downloaded. Uh, I'm going to re rename my old Veo patch, just so we don't have one. Now we drag and drop all of these files you've just downloaded into the folder of your track. We go into the page shadows params.ini.ini, which is the parameters, uh, the settings, and we change the mode to track. It would probably uh, do this automatically, but I mean, there's no harm in doing it. These are the parameters for the cars. We are doing a track so we can scroll down and parameters for the track. Now what you can do is exclude some meshes from baking, which is neat if you have some stuff which obviously should not re uh, get shadows, like for example if you're using an object as a scenery, like mountain textures in the back, like planes and stuff, you can do that. Um, there are a lot of settings, I'm going to keep the default settings for now, so change it to track and save that, we close it out, and then we just launch the bakeryoptics.exe. There it is. <clears throat> and I opened it twice by accident. So what you want to do is, um, you have two options. If your whole track is in one CAN5 file, you can just select your CAN5 file. In my case, I have multiple CAN5 files specified through the models.ini. So what I'm going to choose is my models.ini. Open that up. And now it's going to start baking. It will start a set of cores a few times. What's the problem? And now it's computing the ambient occlusion. Let 
This does take a lot longer than it would have taken if I wasn't recording, but since I'm recording with OBS through my GPU and also baking the uh, ambient occlusion through my GPU, I'm losing a lot of um, losing a lot of performance. But it would take like 10 seconds if I wasn't recording at the same time. And as you can see, it also baked out trees and grass, so the grass effects and tree effects from CSP. And once it closes out, you're basically done. Now we have the, um, where is it? You can put the compile trees.bin in your extractions and trees folder if you want to. You can also just delete it. Um, and now we have the Veo patch, which is right here. This is on your Veo patch. And we want to rename this. So my track folder is called Halifax underscore GP. And I'm going to call this one Halifax underscore GP dot Veo uh, patch. Rename this. And now we go in game because we are basically already done. There's nothing more to do. Obviously, w uh, while it's launching, we can clean up a little bit. So what we can delete is uh, the DLL file, the .exe file, the .ini file, and uh, that's everything which was created. Now we're in game. Also, to turn it on and off, this little tool in the bottom. This is the BLM Lights tool. Link to it in the description, and it has a, this beautiful feature to turn on and off the Veo patch. So this is the new one, not the old one. This is the one we've just created. Like, this is the one we've just created. And as you can see, it worked beautifully. We have contact shadows. Everything looks more realistic. It's just set in place and it doesn't look like a 2014 game, but more like a 2024 game. You know what I mean? Because it's just more realistic. You can also change the time of day to show it's not a fluke and just based on the sun's direction. And as you can see, it still looks beautiful. So if you want to support me, if this video helped you, leave a like below, you can subscribe, and especially you can go into the description and download my track Halifax GP, which is this beautiful 9.5 km track. Very technical, very difficult, very nice, and especially nice for GT3 racing. Alright, have a good day, I hope it helped you. Uh, also, if you have questions, we have a track building Discord below in the description, just join our Discord and have fun. Get some help. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Bye.